So I thought we'd start things off with one of the easiest and most subtle ways to get started in your colourful wardrobe journey, which is of course opting for just one pop of colour. Personally, I think red is one of the best options because it teams great with white, black and denim, three of the most common wardrobe essentials. And it's also very universally flattering. You can style an item of clothing that already features a pop of colour, or you could keep your outfit simple and bring in the colour through your accessories. I decided to do both because I live for the matchy matchy life. Time to do a complete 180 because it is the all or nothing look, which means a monochromatic outfit styling only one colour. Yes, I cheated a little bit because we have thrown in some white accessories, mostly because I don't think many people would own orange shoes, myself included, but my tip for this is definitely breaking it up a little bit, whether it is a slight variation in shades or like I did here by styling one item that is actually patterned. This helps make the look much more wearable instead of just being a solid color head to toe. I like to think of this as more of a part two to the same outfit because I wanted to show if you didn't want to take that one color from head to toe and you weren't going to team it back with other basics that another really fun method to play around with is complementary colors. It's a pretty simple concept just taking shades that are opposite each other on the color wheel but it can make for pretty bold results. For those of us who might be a little bit lazy when it comes to styling colour or just can't quite wrap our hand around the concept, I think one of the easiest, most fail-safe options is to find an item of clothing that's already done all the hard work for you. One of the most common and one of my personal favourite options for this is definitely some form of striped top. I absolutely love the mismatch of stripes on this one, but no matter what your colour palette is, I think it's always a great tip to pick out one or two colours from the top to match in with your accessories. Another great way to really make a statement with colour is to team a very minimalistic and simple outfit and then really pack a punch with your choice of outerwear. Today I opted for this bright yellow blazer which is a colour I find quite difficult to style because sometimes you're left feeling kind of like a bumblebee but to counteract that I decided to style some cheetah print instead. I do find that animal print can actually add as a great neutral and all I'm gonna say is nanny fine vibes. Yes, please. One of the most popular choices of color palette over the last few years is of course, the three fundamentals, the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue are always gonna look amazing together. And personally, I love styling them with this yellow and blue pair of trousers because again, some of the hard work is already done for you. And it also means that you're not wearing three separate pieces of color to really go for that color block look because sometimes I just can't make that work. Here, you can always slip off the red if you're finding it a little bit too overpowering. Finally, we have made it to the infamous slime green color. I am sure you have been seeing this all over your Insta feed recently. It is definitely a fan favorite and I love it just as much as well. I do find that if I team it with an all white look, I kind of walk away looking like a bit of a highlighter. So I decided to throw in some black there. Just a plain pair of black trousers, I think really grounds the look and of course, course had to be a little bit extra and whip out the floor length matrix coat. Being a Y2K princess is definitely one of my favorite moods of all time so of course I wanted to style a little bit of millennial pink but in general I think it's really nice to take different colors from the same sort of family so here we're styling pink and red together. I know this is a bit of a love it or hate it combo but I am still feel in the look, especially if you just go tacky on the accessories. Before you know it, you're giving Paris Hilton a run for her money. Hopefully you gained some inspo to style some more color in your wardrobe this season. If you did, remember to give it a big thumbs up for me. And of course, as always, hit me up down below in the comments, which look was your favorite and what is your favorite color? I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!